Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about airdrops and in particular a network that I think has a high likelihood or a high chance of dropping a token. This one is called Arbitrum. Let's get straight to it. Now Arbitrum is one of the layer two networks built on top of Ethereum. Essentially it's a scaling solution for Ethereum helping to make transactions faster and also cheaper. As I'm sure many of you are aware Ethereum is pretty expensive to use. Transaction costs are pretty high at times and as a result we've seen some of the other layer ones like Terra Luna, Solana, Avalanche, Phantom really grow because of this. Now Arbitrum is essentially built on top of Ethereum, it offers the same level of security but it enables transactions to process in a slightly different way and I've covered this in a recent video on my channel so I'll leave a link somewhere on the top here or I'll leave a link in the description actually and you can go watch that. Now anyway Arbitrum doesn't actually have a token at the moment they've got a network uh, it's quite a good functioning network with over three billion dollars of total value locked and we can have a look on DeFi Llama sorry two billion dollars um, and that puts it at around rank let's have a look at the chains that puts it at around rank 10. So, you know, it's pretty good. And you can see this uh, on DeFi Llama, there's 76 different protocols that are pretty much on Arbitrum at the moment. Most of them are multi-chain. We do have some of these other ones that are on Arbitrum only. And I thought, well, Optimism is possibly having an airdrop and that's another layer two solution for Ethereum. Why wouldn't Arbitrum have a token? And they originally did say that they won't release a token and that Ethereum is going to be its native token, but I think that that might change. And I think that given the way that crypto works, most of these protocols and networks have their own token. And I wouldn't be surprised if Arbitrum released a token. Um, and I think if they did release a token, it would probably be in the form of an airdrop. And I think it will be in a form of an airdrop to people who utilize the network. And so today what I wanna show you is basically how you can get your funds onto the Arbitrum network and how you can interact with a few of these different applications and possibly be eligible for an airdrop if they were to do one. And I don't really see much downside risk to doing this except for having to just pay a little bit in gas fees. If you want, you can move your money back to the layer ones or to Binance or wherever you want after. It's only to just basically get your wallet eligible for a potential airdrop if they do one. So I thought let's just go to the Arbitrum website uh, and over here you can kind of see what's in the ecosystem at the moment. You can see a lot of these applications are cross-chain. I don't know if any of you are familiar, but I'm very familiar with a lot of these like One Inch and Aave. Uh, and if you scroll down, you know, there's many, many different applications. We've got Balancer here as well. Um, and if you click them, I'm sure they'll just take you directly to them. You've got Curve as well, which is one of the biggest. But what we want to do first is we actually want to get some money into the Arbitrum network. Now, if you go onto your MetaMask wallet, and I've just got a little bit of ETH in this wallet, and that's what we're going to use. We're going to be using Ethereum, and we're going to bridge that over to the Arbitrum network. What you'll find is if you click on the top here that you'll have all of your different networks. So, you know, I can see I've got my Avalanche, my Phantom network, Harmony network, but I've also got one called Arbitrum. Uh, and you can add this network yourself. Um, it should, it's either going to be at the bottom of this page or it will be on, if you go on Uniswap or one of these other um, networks, one of these other platforms, sorry, you can add the Arbitrum network there yourself. Otherwise, just go on Google and type in how to add the Arbitrum network and you should be able to do that very easily. Right, so once you've got the Arbitrum network there, you can get ready to bridge some funds onto the Arbitrum network because that's pretty much how we're going to interact with these applications on the Arbitrum network, aren't we? So we're going to go to the token bridge and we're going to connect with our MetaMask wallet. And you don't, you don't have to use the official Arbitrum bridge. Um, you can use a lot of the other bridges that are, that are available. Um, there's many, many, many. Uh, I, mean, I mean, even if we just go back on here, look, we've got AnySwap. I mean, you can go directly from Binance onto Arbitrum. Uh, and, you know, look how many different bridges there are. There's Hot Protocol as well. There's all of these centralized exchanges. You've got Synapse as well, which is huge. Stargate as well, which has just come out. So lots and lots of options here, but I'm just going to show you the official Arbitrum bridge because, you know, why not? And I'm not going to enter all of my ETH balance here because I need to save some for gas fees. So we're just going to send over uh, 0.15 because I've only got 
0.2 uh, ETH in his wallet. So we're going to click withdraw. Ah, I'm doing it the other way, that's why. So we need to go from layer one to layer two, don't we? So we're going to go from layer one, which is the Ethereum network, and we're going to go to layer two, which is Arbitrum network. We're going to click deposit, and you can say this transaction will take 10 days. Nope, withdrawing Ethereum or withdrawing ETH, sorry, back to Ethereum will take eight days if your token is not supported by FastBridge. But fortunately, we have lots of FastBridges available at the moment, and I'm not really planning on um, bridging back anytime soon because I want to interact with all these different applications. So let's uh, do this very quickly. And eventually what will happen is Metamask will pop up. I'll have to pay a small gas fee, which is currently you know, $17. So that's pretty much the risk of doing this. At max, I'm going to lose about $17. So we're going to just pay that transaction fee. Uh, you know, that's the problem with the Ethereum network. Gas fees are expensive. And, you know, if you're paying $17 to $20 per transaction, you know, this is quite cheap for Ethereum as well. Uh, I've seen for a long, long time ETH transactions to be $50, $100 plus. I've seen two, $300, $400. I've even paid $450 once before. Don't ask me why, but sometimes the Ethereum network gets extremely congested. So uh, there you go. You can see that uh, some of my balance on the layer one has actually gone. Um, you can see your balance here. You can see your uh, transactions here. And you can see, look, it cost me $15 in gas fees just for this. Um, and it probably will take a few minutes. And once it's done, I can show you. Okay, so I've just come back after a few minutes. I think it only took, you know, five or six minutes. So it wasn't too long. And you can see how now that my layer two balance has pretty much 0.15 ETH. So let's go to the Arbitrum network and we should have some ETH in this wallet. There you go, 0.15 ETH. So we've got some ETH on the Arbitrum network. Um, and now we can pretty much interact with everything that is available on Arbitrum. So let's just start off with Uniswap because I think that's um, a really easy place to just go and try out some transactions. So, you know, we've got our ETH, you know, if we want to uh, convert that into any other asset like let's say wrapped Bitcoin we can do so and one of the things about Arbitrum that's so great is as I mentioned uh, transactions are kind of done in batches and as a result that means that transaction fees are significantly cheaper look at this so you know we're doing a transaction here and you just see in a moment what our gas fee comes out to look at this it is going to be, you know, $2. Um, and actually MetaMask actually um, gives us generally a little incorrect, uh, slightly incorrect value. Um, you know what? They've got an enhanced gas fee uh, interface. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, generally, I think uh, this is slightly overestimated. And in reality, the gas fee should be around $1. So, you know, you can do your transactions. Um, let's just let's just do one now. Let's buy some USDC. Let's swap. Confirm swap, and here you go. It's under a dollar, under two dollars now. So let's do this transaction. Let's see how much it actually comes out to. And one of the great things is that look how fast it is—1.4 seconds—and we've done our transaction. And if we go and have a look, um, okay, it doesn't tell me how much it cost, but I'm pretty sure that it was pretty much next to nothing. And you know, let's let's swap it back to ETH. Oh, we'll have to just um, do this first. It's really fast, isn't it? This is fantastic. So, you know, a couple of dollars spent really in transaction fees, uh, not too much. And there you go, we've pretty much got most of our ETH back. I know we did spend a little bit there, um, but you know, we've managed to do like two transactions there. And I think that is probably what's gonna make us eligible for a potential airdrop. I don't think they're just gonna let anyone just who uses the bridge just get an airdrop. They probably will want people who are interacting regularly. Um, and so, you know, maybe just do a transaction here and there. Maybe actually try, you know, provide liquidity. I mean, Uniswap liquidity, I'm not really a fan of, but I mean, you can go to any of these other applications, possibly on Curve, Sushi, Stargate, if you've got some stables, um, Synapse, which is one of the bridges, Dopex, if you're interested in options. Um, you know, there's so many different uh, 
different options for us to use. And I think, yeah, just do, do some transactions here and there. Look, all, all it did is it, it costs, you know, around $20, $25 in total, including the bridging fees. And you know what, actually, I'm actually doing this when gas fees are a little bit high. If you actually really want to save money, then you can just do your transactions at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., or even sometimes early in the morning, around 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Uh, those are the times, in fact, sometimes in the morning, I find gas fees to be really, really cheap uh, compared to normal. And so you probably get you you probably do your transactions for half the price that I've just paid right now. And you know, if this pays off, you know, I'm not really expecting a three-figure airdrop. You know, you're probably, who knows, who knows, but you know, just based on how airdrops have been in the past, you know, four figures is really what you're looking at, especially if you compare it to like one inch, Uniswap, um, you know, ENS, you know, you are looking at a fairly decent amount. So, you know, time will tell, of course, um, all you need to do now is just interact with different applications. And you can basically do that by going on to an application like uh, go onto a website like DeFi Llama and you know go onto Curve. You can click, you can click on it just like this. You can go to the website. Should take you to Arbitrum Curve. If it doesn't, go to the network. Um, let's go to Arbitrum. And you know just do a couple of swaps on here. Even maybe provide some liquidity. So you know they've got a Tri Crypto pool. Um, you know they've even got a stablecoin pool here where you you know you're earning 12 and 12 and a half percent which isn't too bad actually uh, especially if you're bullish on curve long term so you know do a couple of these swaps do some of these um, uh, interact with some of these different applications now one of the other things as well is that I think uh, voting on the network is really important especially for some of the proposals so if you go to a snapshot uh, you can basically see uh, a lot of the different networks that are available here. So you can see here that um, there's a variety of them here. Um, I would go to the Arbitrum one um, and, you know, they will have a lot of these polls available from time to time. And, and you know, they will look at who's voting. Obviously, you connect with your wallets here as well. So I would definitely vote on these proposals that do come about. Um, and I think people who are interacting are more likely to be eligible for an airdrop too. So do as much as you can on the network. Um, again, this stuff doesn't cost. You just have to interact. You just have to spend a bit of time. And, you know, if it, play, if it works out, you know, it's going to be a nice ROI. If it doesn't work out, look, at the end of the day, you probably just lost $20. In the end, you probably learned a lot by attempting the bridge by trying out some of these different applications um so i think as a net overall i don't think there's much to lose by trying out some of these things now uh, arbitrum isn't the only one that i think is worth doing we've got optimism as well and we've got zk sync i think those are the two that uh, those are the three sorry that i think are more likely to have airdrops uh for their native tokens because they don't really have them at the moment um but yeah that's pretty much arbitrum for you it's fast it's cheap and that's pretty much how to bridge. So uh, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this video educational. I hope you found it useful. And yeah, just go on, try out some of these different applications. Look how many there are now. There's, there's actually so many and there's new ones coming every single day. Uh, and you can see that, you know, it's steadily growing Arbitrum. You can see yeah, it's around 2 billion. It was almost 3 billion back in November, but you know, I think, uh, the the market has crashed and so therefore we have seen some decline there but you know i think arbitrum probably pretty likely to have an airdrop time will tell of course that's all i've got for you today make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel and of course i'll be back with another video soon